and a soft side. And then you get the back side. Congratulations, you made it into the Willard cooking class. In this video, people are going to be explaining what's going to be going on in the cooking class. So pay attention and you might be the best cook and team member ever. When you're in cooking class, well, we're in a greenhouse right now, but when you're in cooking class, you want to be respectful. Just hang out, work as a team, and it's really just common sense. Hi, my name is Victoria, and I'm Lucia, and we're going to give you a tour of the cooking room. So over here, we have the shared cooking utensils. Here we have spatulas. We have brushes, ladles, mashers, glasses, spoons, wooden spoons, strainers, colanders, egg beaters. We have rubber spatulas. We have brushes. And last but not least, we have tongs. Tongs, yeah, tongs. Where we go next? So here we have the cooking table number three, number two, and number one. This is where they do their cooking, cutting, slicing, and dicing. Here they also have kitchen. Uh, kitchen. Here's table, here's table three's kitchen. There's utensils. There's cups. There's plates. And there's bowls. Here's something to brew in. Yep. There's the stove and the oven. Over here, we have our cast iron skillets. And we have pans, pots, bowls of all shapes and sizes. Wooden bowls of all shapes and sizes. Apple cutters. Pitchers. Lemon squeezers. More lemon squeezers. Cheese graters. Vegetable peelers. Metzaluna. And those are just some of the things that we have here. Here we have the, the table two cooking area. This has all the same stuff as the table three cooking area. Over here is table one's cooking area. It, it has the same as table one, as table two, and table three. Here's our big compost bucket. Here's the trash can. I'd say that's about it, wouldn't you, Victoria? Yeah, I'd say so. I hope you like your tour at the, the cooking, cooking room, room, room. In order to read a recipe, you need to know the two steps. The first step is the ingredients. The ingredients will be provided on the, in the bowl on the table in front of you. Then, using the ingredients, you can move on to the second step. That's the directions. You follow the directions in the order provided using the ingredients from the first step to make your meal. Enjoy. When you get to your table, you have a bowl of food. Don't assume that it's clean. You need to go wash it. These are measuring cups. These are the ones that I use for drying. So there's a quarter, one third, a half, and a full cup. So you would put it in, you, have, you would have to even it out. So, you even it out with the knife. These are teaspoons and tablespoons. This is one fourth of a teaspoon, one half of a teaspoon, one whole teaspoon, and one whole tablespoon. We're technically going to do the same thing by putting this in and then evening it out with the knife. When you measure liquids, you need to be very precise. 
So there's labels to see how many cups you're putting in. On each side. On each side. There's a half cup, a whole cup, uh, one and a half cups, and two cups. So we're going to put the water in and we're going to measure one and a half cups of water. And stop. We're gonna put it on the table to make sure we didn't do too much or too less. I think we did a little too much, so we're gonna pour some out. And that's perfect. About, mm. no, we need to pour some more out. That's about good. Hi, my name is Devante. I have a grater right here, and you want to hold the grater, the grater to a 45 degree angle. And as you can see, there's a rough side and a soft side. You might not want to grate the cheese on the soft side because it won't really work. So you want to do it on the rough side, like this. My name is Lucas and I'm going to show you how to mince. First things first, you have to hold your knife like this and then you wrap your hands around like that. Then you cut it like that. Take this off and start cutting it into smaller pieces. Remember to hold your hands like this so that you don't cut yourself. Once you do that, you want to go like this and start putting it into smaller pieces. And then you do the process again. We're gonna show you how to dice. So first you put your fingers like this, upright, and then you put your knife right against them, and you cut down. And then you move your fingers back, and you do the same. And then you just keep going until you have some equal parts. Then you can turn it, and put your fingers here, and you can cut like that. Mm. And then you have your little cubes that and you're done. Hi, I'm Fanita, and I'm going to show you how to chiffonade. Chiffonade means to cut thin ribbons. So first, you roll up what you're going to chiffonade. Now you're going to hold your fingers like this and hold the knife against your fingertips and back up as you cut. And there you go, thin ribbons. I'm going to slice this squash. Yeah, be careful for your finger. When you cut it, you go back, cut it like this. This is a whisker. I'm gonna wish the soup here. So, when you wish, it's better to make it like this. This way, round, or like this. So, n don't do it like this, or like this. Maybe because it's gonna fall. And don't make it too faster because, yeah, it's gonna fall over all the place. Yeah. I'm going to teach you guys how to peel an apple. First, when you peel an apple, you need to make sure your fingers aren't too close to the blade. Then, put your peeler at the top of the apple, apply pressure to the apple, not too hard, not too soft, and peel down. Talk about boiling water. Let's see if this water is boiling. Oh yes, it is. Notice the boiling water inside. That means it's boiling, and this is really hot. This is a full boil. Wow, my knife is dirty. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna wash it. 
I'm gonna use this this bow and use it so then the sharp side doesn't um, hit my fingers or the the towel so it doesn't. Hit. I'm just gonna wipe it. about knives is don't walk around with them and don't put them into the soapy water because if somebody reaches in their hand they can cut their, themselves so it is right here this is compost this is stuff that we don't need this is our compost bucket this floor is so dirty well I'm the sweeper so I'm gonna go get the broom Sweeping, you should get under the table, around the table, and under the chairs. Let me help you out, Alani. Thanks. Thanks a lot, Harper. Later, I'm gonna help you with your dishes. Hey, Kira. Look at all these dishes. What should we do with them? We should clean them. Okay. So first, you wash the front side all around, and then you get the back side. And then when you're done with it. Give it to the rinser. The rinser, make sure the water is warm, not too hot, and rinses off all the soap from the plate. And the rinser hands it to the dryer. So what the dryer does is he dries the plate by getting the front and the back side. And then when he's done drying, he gives it to the put away. And the put away puts it where it goes. Hey, I'm Joseph. Um, today my job is laundry. Um, first thing we do is this is the laundry basket. This is where the laundry goes. This is all clean. You'll fold them like this, and like this, and you'll put them in the pile of white towels. Next is the uh, bigger towels. Um, what you're gonna do is you take them and you fold them. Fold them again, uh, make them a little smaller, and you put them in the pile. For example, uh, one of these. Uh, uh, like any colored cloth other than yellow, you can do this with. You would fold it like this, and then this, and you put them in here. And yeah. These tablecloths may look clean, but they really are. It's wild card. Basically a wild card just helps out with whoever needs helping out. Like for example these schools need to be put away so I'm gonna go put them away. So I'm the table monitor and I'm basically like the manager of making sure all the tables are clean and everything's put away. I hope this video helped you be more productive in the Willard cooking room.